first of all, the whole State of the Union was beneath the dignity of the White House, an insult to the Congress of the United States and the American people. So their uh, language is uh, nothing that surprises anyone. But they have to know that when the White House speaks, those words weigh a ton. And they are giving uh, encouragement to people to do things. Just as, remember, Charlottesville, people are coming down that hill with tiki torches saying, the Jews will not replace us, the Jews will not replace us. And what was the president's statement? They're good people on both sides. Really? The Jews will not replace us, and the good people on both sides? So they, uh, there's a uh, mysterious view that they have about what their words, uh, the weight their words carry. And there are people out there who, uh, for whatever purpose, I know I'm constantly, I I don't want to even go into the target that I am <laughs> because of them, but I can't worry about that. But that was there even before them, just working with President Obama stirred up some of those same people. But the, um, uh, I, 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 mean, I would like to think that it had nothing to do with what the White House was saying. But I do think they should rein in their comments. Because what they're saying is they're going to be payback to us for upholding the Constitution of the United States, for honoring the vision of our founders for a democracy, a republic, if we can keep it, uh, for something our men and women in uniform fight to protect our freedom, our Constitution, and the aspirations of our children that depend on living in a democracy that is unquestioned in terms of that, where we have freedom of the press to be guardians of that democracy. So... Uh, I, I, you know, I'm not very fond of commenting on anything they say, uh, but if it's threatening, it's wrong.